Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Our sixth story is also about Maryam, Mary. So the title of the story is Mary served Bayt al Maqdas. Mary served the mosque in Jerusalem. In the previous story, we covered the Quranic description, Quranic perspective that Mary's mother made a promise to Allah that, O oh Allah, I want to dedicate my child to your service as a thanksgiving. And this story is just a follow-up that where exactly Mary served and learned her religion and worshipped because all the way we find that Allah had chosen her from the best parents, from the best family, and then reared her in the best environment and right from the beginning from her childhood Allah has placed her somewhere so that her time will be pure her service will be pure her character will be pure and then later on she can be a wonderful miracle of Allah as a lesson for the entire mankind so Quranic perspective is that that place where she was taken for the service of Allah was Bayt al-Maqdas in Jerusalem. So the mother took her to the Bayt al-Maqdas and as a family they were the generation of Harun, in English Arun, Harun alayhi salam. Because Moses' brother, Musa alayhi salam and his brother Harun, both of them were Allah's messengers. So Maryam was the next generation of Harun alayhi salam's family. And they were very honorable there. As I mentioned before, that her father was an imam, a scholar, a religious teacher for that place, Batal Magdas. Her uncle, Zakaria, alayhi salam, he was also an imam there, and he was also a messenger of Allah. So they are from a very honorable family. When her mother took her to the Bayt al-Maqdas and said that, look, I made a promise to Allah and I expected that probably I would have a boy and it is easier for a boy to serve the mosque. But now it is Allah's wish I see a girl. But I made my promise. Now you people, you help me what to do. Because until then, there was no provision for a girl to serve the mosque. But it was Allah's work. Something happened that she could not even expect before. Mary's mother could not expect before that what would happen. When they saw Mary, then all of the teachers there, all of them became interested for her, to teach her, to look after her. And they built a room adjacent to, to the mosque so that she could stay there. That would be her special chamber. So she could learn, take lesson, and worship God whenever she wants to 
and time to time she could help with cooking and cleaning, things like that. So there was a problem. What was the problem? One student, too many teachers, and each teacher was not prepared to give up. Each one of them wanted to teach her. But she needed only one teacher, one guardian teacher. At last, all of them, they decided that they would seek the solution from Allah. Whoever Allah chooses, they will accept it. So that story is mentioned in the Quran according to the word of Allah that how did they solve that problem. It was a happy problem a good problem, but how did they solve it? Let us go to Holy Quran chapter 3 verse 44. <clears throat> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Thalika min anba il ghaybi nuhihi ilayk. Allah is saying, O oh my messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is a news, a story. I am revealing on you by my revelation. A story about Honorable Mary and what happened to her with her teachers. A story that happened hundreds of years ago. وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ O oh, my messenger, you were not there with them. إِذْ يُلْقُونَ أَقْلَامَهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ يَكْفُلُ مَرِيَمْ You were not with them. When they were throwing their pens to select who would look after Mary. So that detailed story we find from Hadith. What happened there? That they threw their pen, the pen they used to use to write Torah. So all these teachers they went to a stream where the current has water, you know, water had current. So they threw their pens in the water. And they agreed with Allah's help if a pen goes against the current, then the owner of that pen would be appointed as a teacher for special Mary. Mariam. Usually the current pushes all the things along its way. But if any pain goes against the current, that will be a miracle. And by that they can find out that who Allah wants to be the guardian teacher for special Mary, Maryam alayhi salam. So that was Allah is pointing here that, oh my prophet, you are not there. So this is also an evidence that Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was unlettered, an, orf an, or an orphan, he didn't know even how to write his own name. How it is possible that he could write a Quran like this? And he could tell exact stories that happened long before. So here Allah is giving the hints 
that it is not your story, O Muhammad, peace be upon him. It is my story. And I am telling this story for the mankind so they can learn from it. وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ إِذِ يَقْتَصِمُونَ You know, my messenger, you were not even there when they were not agreeing about who should be appointed teacher for Maryam. So, they threw the pen and all the pens were going uh, along the current but they found only one pen was going against the current. Whose pen was it? Who was that fortunate person? was appointed by Allah to be the teacher for Maryam. Also, it is mentioned in Holy Quran. So let us go back, little back, in chapter 3, verse 37. Allah says, فَتَوْقَبَّلَهَا رَبُّهَا بِقَبُولٍ حَسَنٍ وَأَنْبَتَهَا نَبَاتًا حَسَنًا وَكَفَّلَهَا زَكَرِيًّا So here Allah is saying that Zakariya alayhi salam became her teacher. Zakariya alayhi salam was on one hand, a messenger of Allah in that time. He was a teacher in Bayt al Magdas as well as he was related to Maryam because he was Maryam, Maryam's uncle, Zakaria alayhi salam. So the pain owned by Zakaria alayhi salam went against against the current. So what is the message here? The message here that the mother was worried that I dedicated my child and I thought probably it would be a boy suitable to serve the mosque. But now it is a girl. But Allah solved the problem in a way that she found out that boy or girl doesn't matter. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, boys are special, girls are special, both are special. But most importantly, to Allah, who is most special, the one is most righteous. In Maryam, alayhi salam, may Allah wish to peace on her. She was special, righteous, and Allah is giving the certificate. Allah is saying, فَتَقَبَّلَهَا رَبُّهَا بِقَبُولٍ حَسَنٍ وَأَنْبَتَهَا نَبَاتًا حَسَنًا وَأَنْبَتَهَا نَبَاتًا حَسَنًا Allah is certifying that that Maryam, Allah made her grow up with purity, with honesty, with virginity, with best character. All these things as Allah is certifying. That the point I am trying to make that if you are righteous, if you are God caring and fearing, then doesn't matter you are a boy, or you are a girl, or you are rich. Or you are poor, you are an orphan, or happy, it doesn't matter. To Allah, you are honorable. To Allah, you are honorable because you are righteous. And when you are honorable to Allah, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of you. Allah will make you useful for good things. And exactly that, that's what happened to Maryam alayhi salam. And the other lesson we, we learn is that as a parents, as a parents, what should be our number one priority to do for our children? Is it giving them hundreds and thousands of dollars of toys? Or giving them a luxurious life? Or providing them all the fancy things? Or to make them a glamorous you know, give them a glamorous life, lifestyle. No, these are not important to Allah. We learn from this story. Allah made Maryam's mother very wise. And as a wise person, she did not pray to Allah for glamour. Because glamour makes people arrogant. She did not pray to Allah to make her daughter very rich because becoming greedy or praying for greed is also not a good thing but she prayed for the most important thing what was that? that her girl should be pious with good moral character with the best behavior and this sort of qualities makes this person special to everyone and that's why whole world remember her lots of trillion years they are dying who cares about them how many people remember them but the righteous people look at prophet abraham was he rich no. How many people remember him? And his time, his king, Namrud, who claimed himself to be a god, how many people remember Namrud? Look at Maryam. How many people remember her? In Bible, she is there. Old Testament, she is there. In Quran, she is there. We have some, you know, dif differences in terms of information. But, Billions and trillions of people are reading about her, praying for her, and until the doomsday she will be remembered. Not because of her richness, not because of her glamour, but because of her good quality, good character. And her mother exactly wanted that for her child. As a parent, if we really want best for our kids, then we should teach them religion. We should teach them to be God-fearing. We should teach them to be best moral character. And that will be the most important quality for which they will be loved by people, they will be loved by Allah. So this is the message of this story. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.